Mm. Hi, YouTube family. I had my E day earlier today. Hi, Dad. I had an appointment. I had um, E day an appointment too. Nine o'clock this morning. With Daddy, I'm um, I mean. Went there late. My um, because I got stuck behind a school bus. I don't drive, so my fiance was driving. We got there at nine twenty-two. Everything was uh, done with in an hour and a half. So we figured by 11.30, I was done and out of there. Um, what he did do was uh, I had the gas and I had the, the Novocaine. He numbed me really well because I couldn't even move my tongue. The only thing that I, I would suggest is um, whoever does the suction has to be on point with the suction because it's a lot of blood and stuff, it's a lot of saliva and another thing too is don't let them leave you there with your mouth open and letting it dry because your tongue gets fat and numb you know so I kept asking him for water just to keep my throat and my mouth hydrated which really helped because you know you feel like you can't open your um close your mouth, open your mouth you feel like you can't move your tongue, you feel like you can't swallow but uh, it didn't hurt. You know, he numbed me so well that he was just pulling the mouth. He kept asking me if I wanted a break. I just wanted it over with and done. Um, he sent me home with a mouthwash with um, antibiotics and Tylenol with codeine. And you need to stay on top of that pain meds. You know, as soon as you get out of there, take the pain meds. That's what I did. Um, and I went home to sleep. You know, I went to sleep a little bit, you know, at first it was um, a little bit uncomfortable, but I fell asleep on my cheeks anyway because they were swollen. I mean, I'm still a little bit swollen, but um, it's something that you can handle. It's, it's a pain you can handle. When I woke up, the first thing that I ate was uh, a mango pineapple smoothie made at home because I do a lot of food prep. So I made myself one of those and I had it with a spoon. As you said, no straw, what have you. And now, um, I'm having, you know, um, green plant, plant, platanos, plantain, but I, got, I made it very smushy. So this is like, you know, Dominicans have a dish that's called mango, where they have, you know, the green plantain smashed up with eggs and three pieces of meat, you know, the, the tres golpe. But I can't have that, but I do like platanos. So I'm having the plantain, you know, now. And it's just, you know, weird. I do little and eat because I'm not going to go um, I'm not going to be starving myself I gave myself a generous portion it tastes good it has a little bit of butter it has a little bit of salt um, and I'm done with this my I'm going to be drinking water a lot of water this water helps heal believe it or not your mouth is the really the only place in your body that heals quickly so I'm going to be doing that oh, I need the to put this in the what? The pain is real. Um, it felt like somebody hit me with a baseball bat. You know, so I had a lot of pain from here to here, and it was my tongue. That's the only thing that was really, really hurting me. So when everybody was saying, um, oh, that they didn't feel stuff, you know, I felt it. I felt that I had a good dentist, but, you know, I, I felt the pain after the fact. Like, I didn't want to talk to nobody. I didn't want to think. I didn't want to do logic. I didn't want to answer no questions. All I wanted to do was go to sleep. You know, um... I had 26 extractions. I can't even because it's still very too raw, and I got stitches in there. So I will try to keep doing my videos to keep you up to date. Um, but you know, my concern was that I wouldn't be able to eat, and you know, little bit, little bit. You know, I remember when I was growing up, there used to be a saying that. You know, you're an adult once and a baby twice. Well, back to the baby stage. And I remember um, watching a video too from your, um, the guy that calls himself your failure denture wearer. And he, he was talking about toughening up his gum. As soon as I can, I'm going to do that. But I'm going to go buy the, um, the baby teething cookies. You know, just like a baby, I'm going to strengthen up my my gums until I get my dentures because from what he told me it's going to be about six weeks if that 
and then another week or two to get them done because they send them out. So, um, it's a little difficult to talk because my tongue feels swollen, but I feel like you could understand me. You know, I can could, I could hear myself and, you know, the words, you know, I'll practice a little bit more, but it, it wasn't too bad. You know, the, the learning to speak again and learning to eat again wasn't too bad. You know, that was one of my concerns because I was worried about that. The pain, the learning to um, eat, swallow, and speak, you know, had my anxiety up. But if you're going through this, this is definitely something that you can handle. That's something definitely that you could do. You know, I would suggest doing food prep. You know, and um, I'll try to do some of my posting as best as I can because I have a full house. So it's hard for me to um, do the videos. I wish that I could just do them on point and go live, but I need to wait until I get, a, I think it's a thousand views or a thousand subscribers, whatever the rule is. You know, little bits by little bits, it'll happen. But I'm, I'm very happy with the choice that I made. I think it's a good choice. You know, the dentist had asked me again, do you want to do the bottoms and then the tops or the tops and the bottom? And I was like, no. Because the only thing that really hurt me because he didn't numb my gums was the needle. I felt the needle, so I just pressed my head back in the chair. I had my headphones in. And yeah, you could hear the, the suction and all that stuff. But if you put your headphones in, I had my little chanting music on, you know, about how powerful I am. And I, I, I lowered it every now and then to hear him. But it, it, wasn't, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Not at all. Now it's the recovery, the healing process. So um, if you have any questions for me, Leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But um, I will keep posting my journey. And thank you for coming along with me on this. You know. Day one. Bye. Not that bad. Not that bad. You got this.